I think for us there's no difference between a normal instrument or sound source in nature, uh -huh. like uh, wind blowing through the tree or... Music is acoustics anyway. It's <laughs> it's uh, Acoustic is the whole world that's uh, hearable, audible. Yeah. So it would be uh, limiting, like some some people say we play acoustic music. It's not. It's only one part of the whole audible world that they limit themselves to. Yes. The Sometimes people say also we are playing on natural instruments, but uh -huh. they are not natural. They are also built and they are also made by human beings. There are no instruments you they can grow on trees. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if you listen to the river flow or some water or, or weather, general. Uh -huh. So all this, this is, is this would be natural music, but anything that's made human-made is is human music. Uh huh. But in your own music, would you like use natural sounds? Yeah, we regard radio <laughs> sounds also as some as a part of nature of today. Mm -hmm. Also, if you you regard. <coughs> that we have one piece, radio stars, it's cosmic. The stars are sending radio waves uh -huh. long before we lived, and they still do. They make music, like when they... In it's in the music of the spheres. Yeah, in, in Faust, you know Faust, mm -hmm. Goethe Faust, where it says the harmony of the spheres, we used to... to uh, have this uh, in our last concerts. It was part of the concert where Comet Melody, we had an introduction from Faust where it says the harmony of the spheres and the sun is uh, making music. And this was just imaginative from the Middle Ages and Goethe picked this up. But he couldn't actually hear it in his time, but today with radio telescope you can actually hear the real the real music of the radio stars so it's it has become a reality how, do you compose your music like uh, how do you compose your music well we did with this album we did the concept uh, first when we had this idea of doing a radio album and then we um, sat in in a room, and there was the room was nearly empty, and we just had a radio, this shortwave radio, and with five bands, international radio, and we kept listening to this. And we did with our friend Emil, we did the artwork first, and poetry, and wrote some of the music. And all the time we were listening. <coughs> and so this gradually uh, came together. We we composed some of the songs and lyrics. Well, let's to the radio. And then we always go like to our studio and improvise. And also while we were playing the last series of concerts, we were improvising and sometimes getting carried away from the original piece of music and we found that we were somewhere else and so we <laughs> we find new material and new music by improvising by chance and by by just working and studying it's different sources where we find music mm -hmm. talking with people a lot of the music on this album is very peaceful and calm mm -hmm. I find contemplative in some parts uh -huh. Have any ideas for a single? Well, it's maybe as radio activity is uh, has been the most uh, requested. Uh -huh. So maybe there we will do a single from this one. I like antenna. Yeah, this yeah. is <laughs> this really. I think that would be a good single. Really, a uh, very poetic. How is the future of electronic music looking? The kind of thing you're doing, you think uh, this is the trend? This is where music is going? 
how we think <coughs> it will become even more uh, <coughs> melting together with uh, organic uh -huh. with other forms like uh, we are now switching more to vocal and electronic vocal music uh -huh. not just vocals but extended vocals yeah it has only just started we feel like we only just started within also within electronic music and the whole uh, acceptance and and beginning of research uh -huh. still a lot of a lot to do and maybe there are coming up other groups who are will f also try a lot of them in germany i yeah, know uh, harmonia and cluster in germany there's also a big culture of amateur music like people at home playing music at home, not just for uh, concert, yeah, for themselves and their friends, and also electronic music has a long tradition in Germany since the fifties when it was invented in in radio stations. I mean, the first electronic studio was in Westdeutscher Rundfunk radio station, so it was taken from radio equipment and radio technology equipment sine wave generators that made up the first electronic instruments. So this again is a source of electronic music is in radio. That's very interesting. Mm, yeah. That's in most of the countries I think uh, today also in America it's electronic music is uh, no not no here it's um, they get help from the um, universities. Right. But in Germany, in France, in in Holland, they are supported by the uh, state radios. It's uh, conc musique concrète and uh, was made in the French radio station and in Den Haag, I think, uh -huh. in uh, Holland. There's also a big studio. So there are only there's a special media medium for radio. Mm -hmm. How did you start out with electronics? I know the uh, first album I've heard of yours, Organization, it was just uh, acoustic. No, it's amplified music, like, and then we we completely uh, left this uh, over the years and more and more fascinated by electronic medium because we could do more more of the sounds we imagined we wanted to do until n now we have reached a stage where we can nearly play everything that we can think of. Anything you can imagine and you can I think reproduce? Yes. Mm. If there's enough time and if we can put enough work into it, we can reach this state where we can uh, play anything we want. Limit, limitless, and <coughs> even even when we improvise instantly, like we might be in a concert and we suddenly have an idea comes to us and it will go with the music because we have been playing for such a long time together, so we are not afraid of holding this back and we can play this instantly. Some of it. So, what does your equipment consist of now? Of standard synthesizers, of uh, digital time delay equipment, reverberation, mixers, filters, equalizers, and uh, electronic percussion, speech synthesizer, <laughs> and a lot of, would, would uh, I think, a lot of. People yeah, light, light disc organ and regular organ. Regular. We also use our, our hands and and mouth for voice, of course, uh -huh. and then our feet to to operate pedals and foot pedals, bass organ, and 
also do our own mixing in a concert situation where we mix our music, which is part of the music, because there's so many sound sources that have to go together in a certain way. So we mix this uh, live during the concert. Does it take a long time to learn to operate all this equipment? Yes, to okay. coordinate your, mm. your body, too. It's quite a bit different than uh, playing traditional instruments. That's mm. it, yeah. It's more like operating a radio station, for example. Mm. You, you, feel, you, know, you feel comfortable with technology. Oh, yes. Yeah. When it's you, so used by people. Do you build a lot of your own equipment? Yeah, we have some... Uh, maybe 50% of our equipment is uh, self-designed and we have now closer before we work with some engineers but now we have uh